So October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and we're here to just make you guys aware of what's happening around you yeah. and happening to people close to you. Yeah. Maybe it's not happening to you. Maybe it is. Yeah. But even if it's not happening to you, you need to be aware of these things. And when you see the signs, be yeah. able to, you know, point it out and actually yeah. help, you know, your fellow women that are going through this. Because it's mostly women that yeah. are victims of domestic violence. Yes, there are men that are victims as well, but the overwhelming majority of people who go through this are women. So, well, let's, let's guys know some of the warning signs of domestic violence. Anyways, that being said, yeah. um, why I'm happy to talk about this again is the fact that a lot of women in this situation actually don't know that they are being abused. Yep. They don't know that they are in bad situations. Mm-hmm. They genuinely believe that, you know, men are like this. This mm-hmm. is how men behave. All men are like this. And yeah. Yeah, like mm-hmm. they don't know that they should not be treated the way they are being treated, treated yeah. manipulated, controlled. And, and it's so sad that even people around you convince you that there's nothing wrong, wrong. with it. We're not saying, oh, run, leave your marriage, leave your relationship, whatever. But at least know these things and know it's not normal. Yeah. And, and decide you for yourself. Say, yes. Exactly. Let's be like you're choosing based on what exactly. you already know. No, yeah. Basically, yeah, that says yeah. it all. So. And you know another thing about you know domestic violence and the signs and all of that then a lot of women actually know that this thing is not right Mm -hmm. but they don't even know that it's actually a crime yeah they think it's just one of those my cross to bear they don't know that's actually a crime some of the things that you put tolerate in name of marriage or relationship and even though some of them are not crimes right yeah let me also point this out a lot of women know that it's not right but they let it happen to keep the marriage or they let it happen because yeah. they be like, at least you're married now. Your husband should be able to tell you what to do. do yes. Your husband should be able to tell you where to go. Uh, if your husband does not like your friend, don't be friends don't with that, friends person. that person. You, get, you yeah. literally hear adults, grown men and women yeah. telling women this. And it's usually women. They don't fit talk that shit to man. Yeah. It's usually women. They can't now. You get? Yeah. So, and then these women now start believing it and actually genuinely believe that, okay, ah, it's okay. It's true. It's, yeah, yeah, this is a man, you know, he's my husband. Mm-hmm. This is the man I married. I'll be the man that married me. Mm-hmm. So, it's, it's his right to know to, this. It's yes. his right to control me. Do you get like Yeah, I guess. It's just, oh, because, you know, another thing me. people forget is this, right? I keep saying it. Your husband is not your God. Yeah. Your husband is your partner. Your husband is your is your person, yeah. right? Yes, he might not like your friends. He might not like what you wear. He might not like some certain things about you. Yeah. But he can tell you in a sensible, respectful yeah. way. And then mm. you consider it. If you choose to go with what he says, then yeah. you go with it. If you don't choose to, then you don't choose to. But you not that do... he'll come and demand it of yeah. you. And you two are like, yeah, because... No, 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 no. Because no. the truth is that a lot of women don't like a lot of things that their husbands do. do. And they just, you they take just it talk, because, eh, oh, he's your husband. Yeah, exactly. You know. Exactly. Anyway, so some of the signs that we are listed here, the first one is extreme jealousy and possessiveness. I oh think we've talked about this thing before. I'm sure we... I think we did a recent video about yes. narcissists and, you know, men like this. Yeah. And <laughs> I have a friend... <laughs> <laughs> I allegedly have a friend that says we're always here to attack men, but like it's not true. It's what it is. It is what it is. Like yeah. men are annoying, but it's yeah. not true. We have men in our lives, mm-hmm. you know. But the thing is that these things need to be said. Yeah. When it's time to table women who also yeah. table men. And again, no, but even if, if disclaimer, it's gonna make you happy, women actually show these signs. Too. Yeah, no, yeah. I was about to say disclaimer, right? We're talking about this be- like and saying men because we're women. Mm. But in life, generally, women also abuse men. Men, exactly. So just depending on who you are, if just the shoe fits. Take, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, exactly. So what's the first sign? Again? Yeah, extreme jealousy and possessiveness. I have a big problem with this. Like mm-hmm. I have a big problem with this. It's not and cute. this jealousy is so bad that even when you're out, they're calling you. Yeah. Where are you? Who are you with? Mm-hmm. Make sure to come back by six. Yeah. If you don't come back by six, it's a problem. Yeah. Because to them, they feel like for the fact that you're outside, and especially with certain people. In fact, if you're a woman watching this, right? Mind you, sometimes it's not, with, it's not about men. Yeah. It can be that you're with your girlfriends and they mm-hmm. feel like, mm, this girl will spoil you. Will spoil this you. Girl will, this girl will. Are you, are you spoiling Yeah. Right. That means he's looking at you like a, 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 a child. A, 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 yeah, it doesn't actually make any sense. And the thing is this, right? From what they wrote here, because it was actually, a, I don't know which body compiled this, yeah. but whatever. Now, they said extreme jealousy and possessiveness, meaning that jealousy there is, is normal. Yes, it is normal for some people to be jealous. For, yeah. for people to, je- yeah. to be jealous. Or possessive like women are jealous. Yes, it's, there's a healthy level, level right? Yeah. Where ah, 
Now, wow, where are you going to? You're not going with me. Now, yeah. That is a healthy level. Yeah. But when it becomes extreme, when it, it now becomes that you are basically living for this man, like yeah. if he doesn't tell you go, you can't go. If that, yeah. if he tells you, even if you're out you there know, doing something s- important, if he tells you come back now, you have you to start coming back. Start and coming somebody back. Excuse me, I am hungry. Come back and cook for me. Yes. <sighs> And the thing about that extreme uh, possessiveness, I mm-hmm. think they mentioned it, is actually a fact. They want you to hang out with who they want you to hang out. Yes. They want you to be friends with who they, who want, they want to be, to be friends, friends with. They want you to do, like, their, your, their possession. That's yes, how they that's, view you. That's just it. That's you just, their yeah, possession. That's how they you are their you. property. Like, yeah. you are not a human being with yeah. autonomy. You cannot decide what you want. Like, mm-hmm. who are you to decide they what you want? They tell you when to go out, where to go. Who not to visit? Who to visit? When to come back? <laughs> when to come back? How long you can spend there? How long there? you can spend there? Like, do you understand? Even to the extent of your family. Yeah. You're isolated from your family. And I keep telling people, let's even just talk about isolation. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's somewhere on that list. Yeah. But since we're after that, we're after that, let's just, yeah. Any man that tries to isolate you from the people that are there to you, whether they are your friends or your family or your acquaintances, or, as your, long neighbor. As that, or your neighbor, as long as that man is actively trying to isolate you from these people, Run! Run. <coughs> this is the one situation where I would say, don't even walk fast ass and leave that marriage. We're not even saying walk fast. We're saying leave the run. relationship yeah. immediately. You see that isolation yeah. is literally the first step to yeah. a lot because, because they don't want anybody to even know yeah. when they're dishing. And even, they also make statements. Sorry, like mm. don't take our problems outside. Don't tell yes, anybody. Don't our tell problem. anybody. Still Church part of the isolation. Church is preach it. Families preach it. Yes. Yeah. You don't know that that thing is actually wrong. It's so wrong. Still part of isolation. Meanwhile, abroad, first thing is to seek help. Seek help. Go for yes. therapy. Know who to talk to. Yeah. Because even if you talk to your therapist and tell them what's truly happening, now then they will call police for you. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. When Nigeria, they don't want anything. Any, they don't want any form of accountability. I thought. Oh. You know, if you even look at it from the angle of predator and prey, right? If you used to watch natural Nat, Nat, Nat Geo, all those you yeah. know, whatever shows, you will see that. It is only the. How did you relate to this? I don't yourself. And I know <laughs> about it. So true. Yeah, but it's when it's, you see it is when the deer or all those animals, those ones, are isolated from the, the pack. Group. When they're the, when they're in a group, they can't attack they can't the group attack. because mm-hmm. no matter how weak each animal is in a group, they're actually powerful. Mm-hmm. You see, mm-hmm. ants as tiny as ants are. If a if a colony of ants attack you as a human being, they can eat you alive, right? Mm-hmm. So, but when they isolate you, that's why you now see that the prey can actually the predator can actually attack the prey very well. So, if you're there thinking, it's because he loves me, he's trying to protect me. It's not protection. Mm-mm. There's a way you can protect a woman he's that you insecure love. insecure and insecure. possessive and a narcissist and mm-hmm. just dumb. Yeah, I mean, you know, I must and a devil. The of, <laughs> and a devil, my dear. <laughs> me, you I know? was that devil. <laughs> was that devil. <laughs> was like, because this dumb mm-hmm. behavior, like, yeah. any smart man with sense, mm-hmm. like, you, but they know, Sha, at they the end know. of the day, let me not say they're acting the because they know what they're doing. They know what they're it's doing. the women that are letting it. Yeah. Those are the dumb ones. Mm-hmm. Then the next one is unpredictability and a bad temper. This one right here. See, See, let me tell you. Okay, starts. I don't know where it starts from, eh? When it comes to this unpredictability, uh, eh, I don't like people that you can't predict. predict. You can't say, okay, this is this person's character. Let me deal with you the way you are. Like today, all is well and good. We're laughing, we're happy, we're yeah. fine. Then the next moment, you switch it up. You leave the house for three days. I see here with my sister, yeah. and you know my brain cannot really you comprehend pack up that thing. and go out for and three go days. And you won't tell me where you are. Back. And when you come back now, most men are not trying to even treat them right so that they so don't that go again. Next, next time they go for one week. Hey. What the fuck? And see another thing about this, eh? Like I like I hear of situations, yeah. right? Where women are genuinely scared of how their boyfriend or husband will react mm-hmm. when they get angry. Yeah, that's still a problem. That's- a huge problem. You should be consistent. Like, no matter how angry I get now, my yeah. husband knows my limits. You, he thank knows you. where I, I can reach and where I can reach. Well. Yes. I know my husband's limits. In fact, uh-huh. tr- trust me, marriages, you will fight. Mm-hmm. I fall so there that uh, the moment that man raises his hand on you, the moment that man goes the extra mile, there's no coming back. There's no coming back. No coming back from a relationship like that, from that yeah. man hitting you. Like, because at the end of the day, eh, if you stay, it will get worse. Not immediately. After they yeah. beg you, they might even of have six now. months cool of time. They might even have one year cool, cool of time. time. Yes. But an animal is an animal. animal. He, in fact, that is cooling off time. It's just so that, okay, he can yeah. strategize and see how next yeah. time when he does it, nobody will come to your rescue. Maybe get you so, pregnant. Joyce, thank yeah, you. Get you pregnant, love bomb you, Mm-hmm. Make sure air eh, give you, you a reason one. to stay. Yes, when and he hits yes, you. and you'll be the one to use your mouth there eh, and tell the whole world that he's the most perfect man on earth. Yes, but then you finish using your mouth, tell the whole world that how will you now go back and tell them 
that this same man just hit you again. Yeah. You won't be able to say it. So yeah. don't even see that it, he, he has changed as a good thing. No, he's and strategizing. Don't change. He's strategizing. I don't believe too. it. And if you want to change, not when I'm living in that house with you. I'm yes, sorry, I sir. Have to leave. Like, yeah. nah. Then the next one is verbal abuse. You mm, see this one here? Eh? This is so bad. Mm. Like, you see verbal abuse. Ah, if there's one thing I'm thankful for, it's the fact yeah. that hey, I don't... I can't go through verbal abuse. That's it messes with your brain. Yeah. You know they are legit people, eh? Whatever gender, right? Mm. Who look at you and tell you that... I married you for so so reason. I knew you yes. were stupid and I married you. Yes. I knew you're dumb and I chose to date you because I needed this out of you. You yes. think I married you for love. Like I've heard of situations even from years back. See, like, oh my like, God. They'll tell you how your yeah, father can your family. It's it without without you. Thank your you. I'm, I'm the one that is feeding your feeding family. Your family. So who do you think you are? Oh, Jesus. Who do you think you are? They won't tell you. Say, let your father come and talk now. Whether I will not stop. You know, like, but for a man to talk to you like that, he has no respect for your family. For a man to abuse you verbally like that, yeah. he has no respect for your family. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mind you, again, uh, let's just say extreme verbal abuse. Yeah. I know that some people, when they are fighting, some people just get natural bad mouth. Yes. When they uh -huh. are fighting, it's like, you are a fool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you idiot. Exactly. You uh -huh. you Those ones, you're the crazy. Uh -huh. Yes. I know that's what we're talking about. Too. I you know, most times, say eh, in those in those cases, the energy is being reciprocated. Yes. There's different cases when two people are going after each other than when one person is just quiet and the other person is just talking pouring down and person. pouring abuse on the person. Because that's what it is in most cases where yeah. this man and the women they'll tell you don't say anything. You know, you your mouth is sharp. Don't say anything. I hate when adults actually tell girls that hey, you know you two you have sharp mouths. Yes. Now. Why did you talk? Why did you hey, talk? That's why, why he slapped you? Eh. If you did, oh. Jesus, I'm so sorry. Like, there is I'm no so where sorry. in this world you where you will that. equate. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's no where you will equate verbal abuse and physical abuse. I don't care the example you want to give. Yeah. There is no equation. Yeah. Verbal abuse is not the same as physical abuse. It they don't be. have the same weight. Because you cannot tell me now that me saying that you're stupid and me stabbing you is the same thing. Like it's you not can't possible. kill somebody with mouth. Thank you. I mean, you can harm their brain. Their brain, understandable, yes. And you can you walk away. take their like, life with mouth. Thank you. It's not like... If I'm if I'm abusing you now, you must sit down here and listen to me. Yes, you, don't have you to can walk away. You can yeah. walk away. But you see that attacking somebody physically is not the same thing. So nobody should come and say, uh, women, because I, I keep seeing posts like that. Women have mouths, men have physical strength. I'm like, how is it equal? Don't men have mouths? Dumb shit. How is it how is it how is it equal? So please, I beg. If yeah. you know I want to put that you are excusing your husband's behavior the, because you a lot of women and a lot of Sorry. men excuse it because yeah. they know that they are animals on their own. So, so they are they, you know how like how they normalize everything when it comes to a man. Yeah. Everything is normalized when it comes to a man, but mm -hmm. penalized when it comes to, to women. a woman, yeah. Do you know? I'm going back to Big Brother now. I saw a post yesterday where EK and Ile Baye were, you know, talking and under the comments, people were praising them, right? I was like people forget that Ike actually bullied this girl in the house. Like, nah, people she forget hasn't. it. But now that he's out, because he's a man, meanwhile, the ordinary insults that maybe people like Venita or Doyin did, will never be they forgotten. will never forget it. They'll never, never. forgive them. So I'm like, Look, at, we just literally talked about it in this real housewife, right? When they introduce new girls to the group, yeah. every other girl is given attitude. Exactly. But Faith comes in with a doctor, we, comes in with a man to the group. Oh, is everybody And bestie? the man was doing too much. Oh. Yes, and but, is everybody's but everybody's bestie, bestie. And they like him. Yeah. So what, even women penalize women too, too much. As in for the same for, for in fact for less than what men do yeah so it doesn't make sense the next one is extremely controlling behavior this is part of that we kind of have to yeah. discuss it yeah. yeah if he wants to control your life run if he wants to tell you the business to do run mm -hmm. if he wants to tell you That's what to the next do, one run. controlling if all your he finances wants to, thank you if he wants to tell you how he feels like you should make money instead of you making yes. money yes run if he wants to con any way how, to how money you should be spent off what you should buy do you know some of them we even go as far as They'll give you money and you use the money and do something. They'll still be angry that you did that. Why then, didn't you do why like didn't you this? do it? Thank you. Or men that will say, I don't know how much, I don't know how you are spending this in the market. Let me go by myself. Yes. Let me go by myself. Thank you. People control. that go and start buying things because they don't want you to even have to, access to, to even yes. 500 naira change. Uh -huh. And also just men that, there are some men that are so uncomfortable that their wives are or girlfriends are making money or getting money in a way mm -hmm. that they withdraw from their responsibilities yes, just so they make you spend that money that you, you have. That your last money, you must spend it. It's, it's true. Crazy. A lot of men do that thing. Like, a let's lot. say the woman now, maybe it's someone crazy. dashes her 50k now. Eh? Yeah, he Don't, will not have money for the next, for the next two weeks yes. till you spend, to he's yes. sure that you've spent, spent that. that money. That's abuse. Yes. Especially when it's something that you know is his responsibility. Yeah. It's different if people started they want to share bills and all that. But yeah. <sighs> I'm getting pissed. I mean, I mean, I'm getting pissed. Yeah. Then the next one is blaming the victim for anything bad that happens. Of course. I will add oh, this oh one. my God. This I will is, add, this, I will, I will add blaming the lot. victim and the devil. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> Blaming <laughs> the victim and the devil. It happens a lot. They not tell you, well, why did why did you tell people? Now they put my that's a problem. Yeah. Why did you do this? And uh-huh. uh, that day, why did you? I know we fought, but why did you? Why did you leave? Well, I know. Thank uh, you. What happened that has not happened before? Exactly. To somebody, oh my God. Like, Instead well, of it to you just to yes. apologize genuinely. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. If you offend me and I have to make you apologize to me, that's not an apology. That's, Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's not an apology. It's not, thank if you, you offend me and you're still trying to beat around, to beat the, around bush the bush with apology, yeah. you're not, you, you don't feel like you did anything wrong. Do you know so what? at the end of the day, when they end up apologizing, it's fake as it's hell. Fake. And do you know the funny they part? They were eh? made to apologize some because men, they wanted yes, to. Yes, some men, now let's say now, you and your husband will have an issue, right? You explain to him everything he did wrong. He will still not apologize. Me, I will even come as your friend. Explain to him everything you did wrong. He won't apologize. Then let's say now your father now hears the gist. Now talks to him. He will now apologize to you. The person father. he respects. Eh, he gives no shit about you and your family. I'm telling you, run. Don't yeah. say, okay, but he finally apologized. Run. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it means that he does not even see you as a, he does not even regard you. Yeah. So he's apologizing because the situation inconvenienced the person he really respects. Not that yeah. it inconvenienced you. Yeah. So know the difference. So don't be saying, oh, uh, he's he at least even when even when he, he uh, <laughs> something goes wrong. Me too. I understand my own faults. No, that statement. I know that as a woman, that I'm not supposed to. Yeah. Especially when it comes to abuse again, physical abuse, you understand your own faults. That somebody slapped you. You understand your own faults. That yeah. they beat you up. Uh, like I, I I know someone back in the day that they literally beat you. She almost died. Like, she had to pack her bags and she left the house the next day. This was after collecting months of beating. Like, the marriage only lasted, like, eight months. After collecting, like, we're not even friends anymore. Mm. I'm sure she doesn't even know this channel, so. Mm. But, like, eight months after she left, and that's when she now confessed to everything that was happening. Like, they beat her that day till she almost died. Threw her under something and was jumping on top of her. And it obviously that was just the one day it got extreme. Mm. Every other day she has been collecting this in small doses and yeah. it was no problem. And that's what we're trying to tell you guys. It will always escalate. Ex- escalate. Thank yeah, you. it will always escalate. It's not, it never stops where it starts. And it's not even us that wrote this thing. This is general. Yeah. We come out here and talk about it. Yeah. It feels like, oh, maybe, well, no, it is mm-hmm. general knowledge. Yeah. Then the next one is um, accusations of the victim flirting with others or having an affair. Standard. If you used to watch crime shows. Crime documentaries. Our favorite. Uh, if you used to watch it, you will understand this you part. Understand this one. They will not have to tell you two times. Yeah, they won't tell you two times. If every you time see, they are cousin, every time you go out. Yeah, yes. You are with man. You want to see man. Yeah. Uh, why I you can smell, why you I can like smell your body. I can smell him on your body. One day, why you just stab, stab it out of you? Uh, my dear, like, run for your life. Maybe he just sees you on the street now talking with maybe the security man at one E3 uh, about something about your car. You. He will accuse you of sleeping with security man. He will accuse you of sleeping with your manager. Accuse you of sleeping with your everybody. Like, with your even family member self, he will accuse you of sleeping with them. So, run for your life. Don't say, oh, it's, it's me because of the way I dress. It's because of the way I dis. No. There's no because of the way you did. Anyway, a word is enough for the, for wise. the wise. And 10,000 words are enough for the foolish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my but god anyway, and the next one is okay control of what the victim wears and how they act we talk mm-hmm. about this one this ones are just almost like why would eh? uh-huh. standard i'm sure that's why i've already talked about uh-huh. it uh-huh. antiquated beliefs about roles of women and men in relationships mm-hmm. exactly. let me tell you a statement that pisses me the fuck off mm-hmm. did i marry you or did you marry me oh <sighs> i'm sorry but like when young boys that should be when they married together building a family together start making that statement it's a problem it's a problem because they see you as a, a, an acquired property yes if our grandfather has made that statement we forgive we them we forgive them we this forgive ones, our father's so joy had like six wives seven wives they were acquiring wives for yes. their farm work and all. i can't forgive them but in this day and age a young man that you married at your at your young age, you are still saying, "Did I marry you or the uh, who is the wife here? Yeah, mm. I, I, who is the husband here? Or I'm as the bad. head. I'm the head. As the husband uh, is the person that has a say, say it, of it, when it comes to anything. Yeah. and the wife should just be a follower. Yeah, just it's run, crazy. run. Actually, see all these things we are saying. If you are dating, you don't even have any business being there. Break like, up today. Well, not even trying to say, try and patch it. No. Let this video be the motivation you, you need. You Let need. it be the ginger you need. Let it be your courage. Yeah. I know we're laughing as we're saying some of these mm-hmm. things, but it's actually not funny. Yeah. Then, first sex. 
disregard of their partner's unwillingness to have sex. You see this or one? sabotaging birth control methods. You see this one you just mentioned now, ne? Yeah. The sad reality is that, I, I don't want to say women. 50 or 70% yeah. of Nigerian girls, I swear, I don't want to say that, lot. but a lot of women think that this is normal. Yeah. Like, I've legitly heard women say, and even when he's, even when I'm not in the mood now, he wants it, so I have to I give, have it, to to give it to him. I have to give it to him, yeah. What? See, yeah. What? Let me tell you guys what? something. What? Like, whoever told you people that your feelings and how you feel about having sex does not matter in a relationship? See, let me tell you guys something. In case you don't know, let me tell you now. If a man knows you are not in the mood and he still has sex with you, eh? That man can rape you. That man can... What's, that's already rape. My, my that's it. Just that's that rape, yeah. he, he's like... He's like he married... You didn't want to, but you did it for him. Did it for him. Yeah. I don't know how to yeah. explain it. But that man can rape anybody. Because anybody. real men... Real good to, men. I don't care about the feelings of a wife. Yes. If you can do that to your wife. Once they see that a woman, real good men, once, 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 once they see that a woman, their wife is not in the mood, they automatically just try and, you know, they might try to make, put you in the mood. If they see that, That's okay, a different case. Yeah, if they see that, okay, you're not still getting in the mood or you're not really willing, they give they up. They give up and leave you and cuddle or sleep or gist or do something else. There's tomorrow is another or, day. Tomorrow, you know they like, finish. Some of them I know that if you, if, I think what you know, men use sex in guilty women, right? Yeah, you might say no now, they might not, maybe they will not eat your food for one for week, one week they, will yeah. not, they will not come home early again. They might sleep outside, you not be thinking, Oh, he has not collected something. Manipulation, manipulation, manipulation. I've heard of women that they gave birth three days ago, as they came back home the next day, the husband won sex. That the, person hates you. Does it make sense? That to person you? is that an, an animal, animal that yes. you should not live in the same house with. Does it make sense? Like, like, how. Oh, mind you, some women go to give birth. When they're in the hospital, the husband is sleeping with house help. He's sleeping with a uh, girlfriend. He's molesting children. The Their everything. own children. You know. Everything, you know. Like, in case people don't know that things are happening, things are happening, you know. So don't just be there and be saying... No, but that's sex one. I feel like... I don't know how to really explain, explain it. This. Like, I know what because you mean. Because you cannot have sex when you don't want to because of sex? a man that is your husband... You can't do that, not to talk of boyfriend. If you're not in the mood, you're not in the mood. And another thing I, I try to explain to women, like, legitly, I feel like we should have a talk. Like, yeah. I, I just talk about this, this thing publicly because another thing I try to explain to women, even when I talk to men, I try to explain to men as well, right? When it comes to sex, the male organ and the female organ, they're not the they're same. They're not the same, yeah. A man is not feeling the soreness that a woman feels, feels from sex. yeah. Sometimes, depending on the type of sex, the roughness mm -hmm. or anything, some women don't recover for a few days. For a few, thank you. To feel normal again. Yeah. To feel, you know. Mm -hmm. Doing that back to the... You're hurting the person you say you mm -hmm. love. Do you know, I don't so know it's day. not the same for us. I you understand know, men wanting it three times a day, but you have to be considerate about, about the, the partner person. that you claim yeah. to love. The basic, basically, the man is seeing you as a sex toy. That's it's it. Seeing you as a sex human object. Being. Sex object. He's just using it. you to masturbate. That's what That's he's doing. That's it. Like, he's using it your body make sense. to masturbate. And I feel so sad. Like, a yeah. part of my soul, like, it almost like someone chips into my soul. Eat my hair, a girl say, I give him sex, sex whenever he, he wants. wants it. Oh. Yeah. Because what, like, what, what is sex? Or what should sex be? Sex should be intimacy. Se sex should be two of you coming together to enjoy yourselves. I keep saying this thing and I'll continue saying it. If you're not enjoying it, what are you doing there? If you don't like the guy that's more, what are you doing there? Are you a prostitute? If you're having sex with him just because he's giving you money, then you are a prostitute. That's what it is. So Simple. don't even try to come and be making look as if I don't feel like it. A real man, a good man, if you don't feel like it, he will not pester you. He might try your oh, press button, press button, of course. They will keep pressing and the button. Let me just differentiate now because I just remembered <laughs> somebody's gist in my head and I remembered. Let me differentiate, right? There is a difference in he wants to have sex. You now, as a woman, you now consider, Choi, this mm. man was sweet to me today. Oh, this, yes. man, this man was sweet this week. Oh, this man has done a lot this week. Let me just, Let me give, just him. give him. No, yes. that is you. You actually now want, want to. to give it yes. to him. Yes. You might not be the mood, but uh, yeah. that thought might even put you in the yeah, mood. And the then mood you give yes. it. That's different. Mm -hmm. But the one that you're saying, no, leave it now. No, no, mm. no. And then at the end of the day, before you know, he's on top of you. Yes. Or you'll not be saying, ah, if I don't give him now, he'll walk away. He'll yes. If me. that's your reason for giving him. Else. Can... If, thank you. If your reason for giving him because you're scared of his you, reaction, yeah, if you then do. you should not be with that person. You shouldn't. If your reason for giving him is because, oh, he was actually so nice. Yeah. He just did it for me yesterday. He did it for me last yeah. year. He did it for me this year. Mm -hmm. As long as it's just you thinking of him as a nice person, yeah. Then that's the good, good yeah. Sign. That's a good sign. That's even still intimacy. Like yes. I want to be close yes. to him. I just I want to, with yes, him I want to do of, this yeah. for him because for him. you know he does a lot for, for me. me. Yeah, that's okay. But the then other one, 
sabotaging birth control methods. I, I, in fact, I've heard of men that used to go and pierce condom just to get the girl pregnant. Yeah, that's always their aim yeah. now. They will no. do whatever it takes because they feel like pregnancy will just tie you down. Yes. And when you're pregnant, you, there is, there is, you know a lot of men, when their wives are pregnant, it's freedom for them. It's yeah, freedom of course, now. Nah. Do you know, I remember when I was in school then, eh, there was this friend of mine who doesn't want to just tell her, but whatever. She, we, had, we had a conversation one day and she was telling me about how her boyfriend then wants to be <laughs> the story is even stupid but that when they're having sex he'll be saying have baby for me have baby for me and he'll make sure he comes inside her what? no matter how she tells him i'm not you safe know, I'm not you know that that's abuse and not just that that should be a crime yes and you know to her eh he's doing it because that as he in, loves her that's his yeah and i was like this sounds creepy as hell mind you we're in school though if it be juju, that, that juju be that. Uh-uh. <laughs> was, uh, anyway, let, let's not even go into this. Let's leave the juju. I was like, this does not sound normal. Like, how? I don't know how to explain this thing. Is it, is it upbringing or um, um, level of is it mentality why women don't see some things and, and immediately get put off? It's, it's too much watching Nigerian movies yeah. sometimes and people you surround yourself with and the mm-hmm. friends you keep. Because, for example, Nigerian movies, every woman that wants to cheat is gate man. Of course. Every man that wants to cheat it's house, house help. help. That's yeah. where they always start from. A yeah. lot of Nigerian movies. To today, you think they've changed. To today. To today. To that movie. To that movie. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Like, to today. So it's like when that's what people are consuming, a yeah. lot of women grow up thinking, that's why some women will not even have help in their houses. Yeah. Because that is in their brain. That's perverted Some men behavior. will see you talking to get smart. Some men will not agree for the one to bring driver. People, yeah. skit makers are even making skits with it. Uh, mm. When the madam goes out with the driver, they used to sleep together. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, ugh. See, eh, it's 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 crazy. It's ridiculous. What you consume shapes the way you think. Exactly. Shapes the way you perceive information. The way you receive information and the way you just perceive people's actions. Yeah, exactly. Know what you consume. This, Consumer than Nello, you yeah, learn a lot. Exactly. You 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 actually learn a lot. Like no jokes. I'm not even joking about that one. Like subscribe. Tell your subscribe. friends to subscribe yeah. as well. Send this video to that friend. You know, you know who needs you know, this video. As we're talking, if you don't send it to, to them her. personally, put mm, it in your WhatsApp. Put your WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. Then this next one says sabotage or obstruction of the victim's ability to walk or attend school harassment stalking the victim at work or school this one eh, this one is deep it's deep like it's very very deep eh? because again it still boils down to what we said before about control they know that when you can walk when you go to school and you can walk. You are being you, exposed. Yes. You are being exposed you are to communicating new people. With people. Yes. yes. You are being exposed to new ideas. Mm-hmm. Your mind is being opened. Mm-hmm. Your eyes are being opened. Mm-hmm. So to them, it's like red flag. They don't want this thing to, to come yeah. and... Uh, they don't want exploit. you to change. They, they change. like yeah. you being dumb. No offense. Yes. But they like you like that. They yeah. don't want you exposed. And they don't want you to know better. Yeah. And the reason I'm even saying, just not, not, not just even the money part, because money is part of it. So they use their financial control. Since you cannot work, you cannot go to school, you won't be able to make money for yourself. You depend on them, right? That is one side. The other side is actually being exposed to because you know, as when you start going to school, worse. yeah, when you start going to school, when you start having friends, when you start, you know, interacting with other Sometimes, people. Sometimes, eh, you so, yeah, you may not tell their own. Oh yeah, yes. then you're like, ah, so uh, your man does this for you. So uh, this is normal for men to do. So yeah. they are not supposed to they slap you. Thank you. So they don't, yeah. So yeah. you can call, you can call this line if this yeah. happens. So you can to even you. wear this kind of cloth and go out. Mm-hmm. So so everything will start shocking you. Like yeah, you start seeing your own person as, as you know okay. the devil that he is. He is exactly. And that's what they don't want. That's what they don't want exactly. So. You have to be very mindful of that. Or all these men that will promise you, and eh, I'll take you to school. Come, let's get married. Then yeah. the when you now get married to him, you not tell you. Or the ones that even carry you from Nigeria to which country to go and become a nurse, and you, you must become a nurse by fire by force, whether you like it or not. All those ones are still part of it. It's still part of mm. it though, because you can choose to change. Of, all of those are yeah. using you now. Yes, that, is that not labor? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's as as it for labor. Yeah, actually, <laughs> free labor. But story for another day. Mm-hmm. Now this next one is abuse or cruelty. Of other family members, children, pets, and other and other animals. Definitely, I think we talked about so, some recently as well. Like, yeah. you know, a man through how he treats people around him yep. somehow. Like, yep. you know, a human being basically. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're the kind that you know treats people a certain way, that already shows your character. Yeah, but girls will not still learn. They will not still learn. Yeah, but that's just the truth. Like, no matter how, even if he's not doing it to you, no matter how nice he is to you. If he's not nice people around you, it's you get to be. It's your town rich. Talking about even um, there's this part I just saw now. Family members, children. I don't understand how a man will claim to love me. 
and he's maltreating our children. Let me not say my children, yeah. our children. Like, it does not make sense to me. Yeah. No matter how angry you are, I mean, fathers get angry at, at children. That one is normal. Yeah. But for you to get angry, especially because of something I even did, yeah. you now got to take it out on my children. That yeah. means, eh, hey, you are the devil walking. Like, and we're not talking about shouting, because you know, even shouting. sometimes when another person annoys me, yeah. if I even be somebody in the shop that annoys me, I'll be cranky and I'll yes, shout. So yeah, I'm not talking that about was, that one. No, we're talking it's about like some of them physically abuse this kid yes. as well. Unnecessary uh-huh. beating, unnecessary emotional, emotional yes, because you don't like their mother uh-huh. exactly, or even even depriving the children of things that they're supposed to yes. get because their mother is being. Uh-huh. Uh, since I'll teach you a lesson, yes. you, now, you now deal with because they know you love your kids. So yeah, clearly does not give a fuck. Like it doesn't, it doesn't make yeah. sense. So then pets, other animals. If you watch crime shows again, yeah. you know that you can kill a dog. You, you can kill a yes. man. Yes, Cru- cruelty towards animals. One Quite of the signs period. of yeah. uh, uh, serial killers. <laughs> yeah, some of them start practicing by yes. killing animals. Killing animals, yeah. A lot animals, of them actually. Yeah. Then the next one is what is the last one? Okay. Demeaning, embarrassing, and humiliating the victim either privately or publicly. Yep. It's still part of that one we said about verbal abuse. Yeah. So that is just trying to demean. They want to kill your spirit. They want to kill your spirit. They want to tell you how stupid hey. you are. Do you know, I know they want to tell you how dumb you are. They want to tell you how lucky you should be to have them. Do you understand? They want to basically eh, make you know that without them, your yeah. life is useless. And, do you and know, then you start to believe it. There are some cases where some men behind closed doors they are begging their wives, but in public they treat them like trash. the same thing. It's the same thing. The same thing. I've heard of somebody eh, that. The wife came to their family house. That is with the uh, his sisters were there. I think they came for a burial, right? In the morning, they were looking for who will cook or something. She said, and they should come call his wife now. Like, ah, what is she doing there? That she's not cooking. The wife now came out. He now berated his wife out there. In fact, told his his, his sisters that if she does anything, they should kick in and flog her. This is what I'm talking about. They're not thirty. They're not forty. They're fifty something. No, even not sixty now. They're not. They're not. They're not twenty nine. No, these are people that. Are old enough to start getting grandchildren. No matter the age, eh, no matter the age, self. Like, like. Meanwhile, I'll be there sitting with them. I say, who, who, who will bring the food? It as in me. <laughs> it can't be me. You I might not even be around by then. By then, for no one. Thank you. You even see men that will tell their wives they are cooking, but I, let's 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 bounce. <laughs> <laughs> let's bounce before uh-huh. that. You push. It. Some men will come and say, you push not stress my wife. Yes, yeah, so that's my wife. You push my wife. My wife, I better go. You push Let it. your wife now be the one to, to say. say yes, yeah, now. don't get me wrong. I, I will probably be one of those that will be doing this cooking. Forget this yeah. shit I'm talking here. Yeah. And then they'll be actually one of those sitting and be like, yeah. Now, Lord, is the food right I, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it before, Because so. I genuinely I've like cooking. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I like it and I go there, it's a and different volunteer case. myself to do it, it's a different mm-hmm. case. No swear my whole life. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember I one time. There's things I can't think. I remember one time that they were telling me I should come and cook for one thing. It was even my husband that said, hey, Let's go. Just I said, say, yeah. That's good for who? For people yeah. that you don't like, people that don't give a shit about you or me. Yeah. Thank you. Like, who are, who are we trying to impress here? Impress. You want everybody to know that your wife is your slave. Is your, uh, just do one or two that, times. One or two times that we meet make a, sense. A, a, a. If they want to. And me, I'm pro buy food when it comes to big Thank events you. and Christmas. Like, even in my house now in the, in the village, like my husband's mm. house, is a thing now. We already know. I'm I'm booking food for 25th. Uh-huh. I'm booking food for 26th. I'm booking food for the first. Uh-huh. Like, I'm even doing it. My mother in law doesn't ask me to cook. Yeah. She does the cooking. Has, I'm doing it to save her from the cooking. From the cooking. Yes, why are you stressing, why you stressing when yourself? Are willing, to cook it for Thank money. You. Nobody's paying you to cook it. I will pay. Mm-hmm. I pay people. So now they should just bring coolers. Everybody just enjoy. That's my life. Yeah. So, but again, if you really want to cook, I think once every Christmas I try. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, yeah. do something special. Because, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> but if you really want to cook, yeah, you do it. You do it. But if you don't, like... You see that public embarrassment, they're trying to make you feel little. You see some men that with their friends when their wife when the wife passes, they will say one stupid thing about the wife or joke one kind of joke about that? it. And everybody will laugh. Do you know that on this channel we've made a video, right? About that babe that told the husband, Oh, she can't do it in front of his friend, and he went out to cheat and yeah, sent her yeah. And people were commenting, hey, why would she say that? Yes. Why why was she having conversation with men? So the truth is that it does not make sense. If anybody's trying to humiliate you, it doesn't even mean that the person has to even be your wife. If you are humiliating another person in public, is a is a very bad sign. Yeah. Not to not talk of your wife or partner and all of that yeah. so anyway if you are one of those men that when your friends are there your wife cannot sit down and have she a conversation sit down. yeah like <laughs> like I, 
Like, are you not ashamed? Are you not ashamed? I'm not ashamed. Is that you intent to marry? Let me tell you, those friends will go home and laugh at you. Yes, because now. Because they're, they're the type that hold their wives like Thank this, eh? You. And go out and be proud. Do you know, another thing I've even seen before, Seth, is maybe all friends now gather with their wives, eh? Then your own wife is walking up and down. Yes. Preparing for February, but all the other wives are there sitting down, just yes. oh, looking pretty. Oh, so embarrassing. You cannot tell your wife to sit down soon. So embarrassing. Like, you, you are, in fact, you, you, are, you are ashamed. Except you are you're the host. That's, yes. that's not okay. That's not, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah. And even if you are the whole self, if the work is too much for her, look for someone else, I will do it. Yeah. Find someone else, please. Anyway, a word is enough for the wise, like we said. Yeah. Um, yeah, domestic violence is something that you should not even agree to. Don't accept it. Don't accept it don't in your friend's it. life. Other people like to say, I don't want to add mouth, so they won't use me and say to you are actually the problem. See, yeah, too. it don't happen to me. I don't add yeah. mouth, add mouth. So they, some people don't cancel no, me. Yes. But I'll keep adding mouth. I'll keep adding mouth. Like I cannot help you. Yeah, it. like what? I, I, I can't see something this horrible and ignore. Yeah. What is the point of the friendship? Well, what do you, yeah. you want to stand to gain from that friendship now? If you cannot point out these things to your friends, so at the end of the day, just if you see the telltale signs, send this video to somebody that you know, and hopefully you can help your sister or the next yeah. person you know close to you because yeah. it's not funny and men as well i think i'll allegedly send this video to people yeah no i will like, whatever i will post it everywhere self yeah in fact do you know that most of other people to send this video to yeah. that's tell you how bad it nobody is. can beat me yeah like that's not it is block what me. it is uh, yeah yeah anyway. <laughs> troublemakers <laughs> we'll see you guys yeah bye